Hi guys, in today's video we going to set up T-Motor Alpha G4 flight controller. This FC using same firmware as FETTEC, Alpha. Some time ago I was trying to find any video related to setting up Alpha configurator, but couldn't really find anything. Because Alpha using more text than graphic in configurator, some of you might find it a bit tricky to set up. Okay, let's get started with this. On my drone, the FC is mounted upside down so I will show you how to change this in the settings. The logo is on the bottom of the FC. This is the HD digital version. The bottom pads are for the receiver, the upper connector is for the ESC connection, and the bottom is for the digital video transmitter. So the bottom and top of FC. Now we're going to connect the FC to the configurator using a USB-C cable. Now we are going to the computer and searching for the FETTEC Alpha Configurator on Google. It works only on Chrome. Click Open Port and connect to the STM32 Virtual Com port. I'm sure there is some firmware already installed, but it is good to have the latest version, so we are going to flash the latest one. In my case, that is 63 Alpha. Make sure it's for the Alpha, not KISS. Follow my steps. Okay, when everything is flashed, we can check if all is good and start configuring the settings. First, we are going to set up the FC. Click on FC Setup, and then Craft Type. For a quadcopter, just leave it as Quad X. Since I am using Prop Direction In, I will change out to IN. Don't forget to click Save whenever you change something. Now click on FC Orientation. If you want to use the FC the same way I am, which is upside down, just change no to yes and click save. Go back to FC setup. Click on serial and make sure all the connectors are connected the same way as mine. Then change everything the way I'm showing you. For OSD type, because I'm using the walk snail system paired with analog goggles, I use HD 50x18. Click Save and go back. In V plus C sensor, we are going to change only the current voltage for the FC pin. For buzzer mode, I use motor as I don't use any additional buzzer. Okay, now we need to set up our receiver. Click on Receiver. I have receiver left on auto and channel map set to tear for my radio controller. You can change the channels in your radio system. Then we're going to set the switches. Set them as you like. Hit save. In the battery tab, I haven't changed anything, so we can move on to the ESC and motor tab. First, let's look at our ESC control. It depends on which ESC you are using, whether it's FETTEC or any BL Heli ESC. Just check if your ESC is capable of using DSHOT 2400. Next, throttle values. 
I only changed the min throttle to 1070, but you can leave it as it is. Move to Output Map. Take a look at the values. In Alpha, the motor mapping is different from Beta Flight, so you need to refer to the diagram. Now change the motor's output by adjusting the numbers the same way I do to ensure the correct order. Connect the battery and return to the motor test. Now, check the motor order by turning on each motor one by one, following my example. If the motors don't spin in the correct direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, just remember which one is wrong. You can simply swap two wires to change the motor direction. Now we're moving on to PIDs, rates, and tuning. The PID and tuning values I'm showing you are for a 5-inch drone weighing from 620 to about 720 grams, suitable for a drone with any standard action camera and from analog to HD video system. I've copied these values from Mr. Steele's quad and they work great for me. As for the rates, you'll need to find your own sweet spot. When you hit exit on the main page, it will show you the current OSD. Then you can connect the battery and go to signals to check if everything works correctly, ensure the channels are in the correct order, and check the switches. That's all for today, folks. Let me know in the comments if you need a different related video, or if you have any questions, and enjoy your flying.